Hi everyone, my name is Miss Cindy, and today I'll be sharing a story with you and an activity. Now our story is about a dog character who is brown, he wears a turquoise blue collar, and he loves dog snacks. Do you know which dog that is? If you guessed Scooby Dooby Doo, it would be correct. So we're gonna read our Scooby Doo story first, and then we're gonna do an activity. And our activity is making secret letters using invisible ink. With the permission from Scholastic, I will be reading to you Scooby Doo Howling on the Playground by Gail Herman and illustrated by Duendes. Hammer, hammer, bang, bang! Scooby Doo, Shaggy, and their friends were building a playground. Daphne's uncle gave the neighborhood supplies to build a new playground. The gang was helping out. Shaggy banged at a nail. Oops, Shaggy said to Scooby. Almost nailed you instead. Stop all this noise, an old woman shouted. She rushed out from the house next door and frowned at the gang. What is going on here? We are building a playground, Drew Zuko said. He was the person in charge. The woman scowled. Playgrounds are noisy. I don't want one here. I'll find a way to stop it, or my name is not Edna Spring. The next morning, the gang came back to work. We're not letting Edna Spring stop us, said Drew. We need to start on the sandbox, he told the gang. Did someone say lunchbox? Shaggy asked. Let's take a lunch break, Shaggy told Scooby. Lunch? said Drew. But it's nine o'clock and we have work to do. No, you don't. Edna Spring walked up to the gang. I'd stop building if I were you. I know, I know, Drew Zuka sighed. You don't want a playground here. The old woman shook her head. That's not it. Werewolves are haunting this place. I heard howling all night long. This is not the place for a playground. Werewolves? Daphne asked. This sounds like a case for Mystery Incorporated, Fred said. There is one way to find out about these werewolves, Thelma said. There's a full moon tonight, Fred told the gang. We'll stay in the park tonight, Velma added, and see if any werewolves come. That night, the full moon rose over the park. Piles of wood cast strange shadows, and Shaggy felt scared. He waited a moment, but all was quiet. There's nothing going on here, he said. Scoob, let's grab a late night snack and go home. Yeah, Scooby agreed. Not so fast, said Velma. Would you stay for a Scooby snack? Daphne asked. In a flash, Shaggy and Scooby gulped the treats. Still hungry, said Shaggy. Time to go. Ow! A howl echoed through the park. Is that your stomach grumbling, good buddy? Asked Shaggy. Scooby shook his head. Rope? Shaggy gulped. And it's the werewolves, he cried. Shaggy and Scooby jumped in fright. They raced to the gate. Like, I've had enough playtime at this playground, said Shaggy. But a howling sound came from the gate. Ow! Werewolf, Scooby cried. Scooby and Shaggy ran with the werewolf right behind. They raced around the swings. Ouch, said Shaggy, as one of the swings hit him in the head. Oh, the werewolf howled. Shaggy and Scooby raced up the slide, then slid down. They couldn't get away. Scooby, Shaggy, Velma called. Stop playing around. Velma, Shaggy cried. Help, help, Scooby barked. Shaggy saw a pile of sandbags for the sandbox. We can jump into those, he told Scooby. Scooby squeezed his eyes shut. Run, he counted. Roo, re, jump, shouted Shaggy. They jumped onto the bags and heard another howl. Howl, like it's the werewolf again, Shaggy shouted. But Scooby shook his head. Now that he was closer, he knew it wasn't a werewolf. It was more like... Rubbies, 
he said. Puppies, asked Shaggy. Scooby nudged the bags and there were four puppies waiting to play. Shaggy said, well, okay, Scoob. You found some puppies, but what about those werewolves? Those are the werewolves, Velma said, walking up behind them. Don't you see, Fred said. They are howling because they are cold and hungry. More noise, Edna Spring interrupted. Yes, said Drew Zuka, hurrying over. I came to check on things here. What's going on? Scooby found werewolves, Velma explained. Drew looked very surprised. But they're only puppies, Daphne added. Puppies, said Edna. How sweet. Redness puppies, Scooby said. Great idea, said Velma. Edna, would you like to give these puppies a home, Fred asked. Edna smiled. Would I ever? And you know what? A playground is a great place for puppies to play. One week later, the playground was finished. Right in the middle stood a statue of Scooby and the puppies. I've named the puppies Daphne, Fred, Velma, and Shaggy, Edna told everyone. Not Scooby? asked Velma. There's only one Scooby-Doo, Edna said. Scooby-Dooby-Doo, Scooby howled. Next, we're going to do our activity. So here is a list of the supplies you'll need. You'll need paper, a paintbrush, white crayons, markers, food coloring, and a little bit of water. The first step is to grab your white crayon and your piece of paper and start drawing a picture, a design. You could do shapes, you could write a secret message, whatever you'd like. Next, I'm going to take my water and my food coloring and put one drop in my water, just like that. And then I'm going to take my paintbrush and mix it around until the food coloring and the water is well blended. Now it's time to reveal our secret message. Now I did get a tray to protect my surface, so you might want to do the same. Grab your water mixture, dip your brush in, and gently brush around your secret message and you'll start seeing your message starting to appear in white. Now you might be wondering, how is this all working? Well, water and oil don't mix, and the white crayon is a wax, and wax is made up of oils, and our mixture is water-based. So the crayon wax resists the color of our water-based mixture. Finally, I'm gonna show you a new way to do it. Draw out a picture again with your white crayon, and then this time take a marker and scribble around your secret drawing to reveal it. And it works because a marker is water-based. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. And here's my secret message. Be kind. <laughs>